Hello, everybody. Welcome to JA Today. I'm your host, Super Bowl champion, Ellis Wims. Now, today we have a guest from one of the most innovative educational programs in the city of Houston, Junior Achievements 3DE program. We have the director of that program, uh, J.C. Cardenas. We have a couple of students from that great program, Mrs. Savannah Wood and Mrs. Veronica Fonseca. How are you guys doing? Good. good. Yeah, it's good to have you guys on today. Now, uh, again, we so 3DE, again, is an amazing program. I'm a board member over at Junior Achievement. Uh, I've heard so much about it, gotten a chance to witness it myself. Uh, so, again, JC, uh, I want to give you an opportunity to just tell everybody uh, what is 3DE? You know, if you're not an educator or, or if you are, uh, you're going to see that it's a refreshing take on how do we approach education for today. And students need something more relevant. And what we're trying to do is re-engineer what they do at a high school level. So we call, we hear a lot of people call it a program, but in reality, it's a model. And the reason why we say that is because it's flexible and it's fluid and it, it goes with what the school needs are. And at the same time, it brings in what's unique about it. So what's unique about it is that we bring in business partners to the school to make what they're learning within their core content uh, classes relevant, that it makes it, it, it authentic so that they're able to connect the two. So let's say they're taking Algebra 1 and they just don't know how to apply that in the real world. Well, we're going to have that opportunity. So what happens is students are placed with four teachers, uh, or roughly four teachers, and a fifth teacher that could be an elective teacher that will work on a case challenge. So when I say a case challenge, let's talk about an example. Um, so we got Arby's as one of our case partners. They'll bring in a problem. They'll, they'll bring that to the students. The students will, as in, in groups of four to five, will decide and find solutions to that problem. So Arby's asked, how do we get 13 and 17 year olds to come to their location to become patrons? Well, students will have to find that out through research, collaboration, uh, finding ways to um, take given surveys to students, et cetera, and using certain skill sets that will not only be used during the class or during the case challenge, but also post-secondary. So really what it comes down to is they get opportunities to do this throughout the year, different companies, and they're able to bring solutions. So that's what 3DE does in a nutshell. There's more to it, but I'd love to hear that the students here give you more of their perspective. Yeah, so in a case study like Arby's, you got old geezers like me uh, who like eating you know, large sandwiches full of meat. So how do we how do we get how do we get young people to want to go and go to Arby's? That's pretty cool because again, you know I'm an old geezer. You know I love my roast beef sandwiches, uh, my huge you know big turkey sandwiches. They have one of the best burgers uh, on the market. So how do you get young people to want to go and they get a chance to solve uh, uh, problems like that that real world, real life Fortune 500 companies uh, really want to solve these problems to improve their market share. Uh, and to have these students be able to do that, uh, that's, that's awesome. So obviously, I guess the case challenges are a huge part of the program, right? Is a huge part of the program. So Savannah, uh, just kind of to, in your perspective, like what are the case challenges like for students? So case challenges have many parts to them. Um, there's the, obviously what the company you're working with, um, there's the case challenge question basically asking you like, hey, what are you trying to solve? Like, what is something that this company is asking you to solve for them? And how are ways that you can tackle it? And then there's a competency. So a few competency, competencies we have are self-direction, uh, engaging communication, cultural agility. So um, just little things that we focus on. And then there's themes. So some themes are communicating successfully, uh, tackling adversity, uh, building a brand, wow. um, big one. And then on lastly, this last part on our case challenges are analytical. 
So our analytical tools are something to help guide us along the way on how we tackle um, our challenge. So past uh, analytical tools could be communication model, where there's a sender, a receiver, and then a noise. And then um, another one would be like the decision tree, where we have pros and cons trying to decide what our final like basic investigation, what our final solution is. Um, so when we have these case challenges, um, these tools are there for us to help us uh, in solving it. Wow. And again, even sitting here listening to you and listening to the terminology that you're using as a high school student. I mean, that's amazing. Again, when I was in high school, again, we are I'm not using case challenge and analytics and uh, building a brand uh, and all these different business concepts uh, that you guys are obviously getting introduced to very early on in your in the educational process. So even sitting there looking, you know, listening to you. Uh, again, you're farther along than a lot of people that are already out here working uh, and looking for job opportunities. So that's, a, I guess, that's an amazing part of the 3 e program. Uh, so, Miss Veronica, so again, the case challenges are a huge part of the program. What would you say has been one of your favorite case challenges? I'm maybe a little biased, but I think Econ Keeper case challenge was one of my favorites. Uh, She's saying that because she won. Her team. Won. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, of course. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. You, if you want it, definitely. Home Depot is the best. But what was what, what was it about that case challenge that was so awesome for you? I really liked how I was. So the competency was creativity and innovation, and I wow. personally am really big on the fine arts. So that is something I was really able to grow and thrive on. So I was able to come up with new ideas with my team and how we could develop it and how it would work for the company. And it really just fit well with me personally. It, it just came naturally to me. And that's what I really enjoyed about it. You know, and I want to jump in. Uh, what she just referred to me, it did not focus just on the business aspect or the entrepreneurship. She was using skills that she really likes and enjoys, which is the arts. And so what 3DE does, it's not for a student that's just focused on being an entrepreneur and, and having their own business. It's, it's a, it allows them to see the world in a bigger context so that they're able to decide, I'm, I don't know exactly what I want to do, but I can use all these different skills in order for an idea or finding a solution to come to life. Wow. So again, students, so... Students get to use kind of what's in their wheelhouse, what they enjoy, their niche, like their skill set, like what they're naturally good at to solve problems and solve case challenges and, and to be able to do that within your school day. Like this is it's not like just memorization, just, you know, open this book, remember this passage and then do this test. Like you're getting a chance that you use the skills that you're good at uh, to, to solve real world issues for real world companies. Like that's amazing. Uh, to get a chance to do that. Uh, 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 th that's awesome. So, Savannah, what was your favorite? And don't tell me one that you won. <laughs> um, my favorite that I haven't won, actually. Um, Next yeah, Level yeah. Time was definitely one I very much enjoyed. Um, the competency was cultural agility. Uh, I love that competency because I think it helps us to see what different ethnicities, what different people, like, certain things and how can you adapt one solution to be adaptable for everyone and how can they um, all be flexible in order for it to work for everyone. So with Next Level Prime we had to figure out how could we like convert their um, prime members into an advance, like how could we make them enjoy Next Level Prime and want to go have more of it. And so for that um, we came up with solutions such as like uh, praying rooms which could be good for everyone um, of any religion, if they need to pray, in a free, great space, or just a safe space in general. Um, another solution we came up with was um, just needing more supplies for everyone that meets needs. Like, I mean, having nurses that, like, you'll have some religions that require um, women to be uh, part of that religion because they can't have men around. Um, mm -hmm. So that was another solution we came up with for that.
Wow. Uh, yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. You're both hired <laughs> already. Uh, again, yeah, that that is that is is amazing. Again, thinking about problem solving, thinking about it from a cultural standpoint, and respecting everybody's culture, respecting everybody's religion. Again, it's great that you guys are, are the the next generation here. You guys thinking out of the box and being innovative, uh, and thinking about people co culturally. Uh, again, that's amazing. Uh, so, uh, Miss Veronica, so tell me, uh, what skills do you think you've learned from this three D E program? So from the 3D program, I think I've really learned how to get myself across. I've learned how to eliminate kind of when my brain freezes mid-sentence, I able to keep going and make it seem like it didn't just freeze. Um, I also learned how to limit my self-pacifying actions. So when I'm presenting, I put all my energy into my hands, make it seem uh, more professional and like I want you to listen to me than swaying or kicking my feet or twiddling with my thumbs. And I think that's really valuable for more professional settings uh, where stuff like that isn't really as accepted as the more professional counterpart parts. Well, well, I, I tell you what, I think uh, I'll probably need to bring you in to kind of tutor me on some of those things. Uh, because whenever I, whenever I'm up in front of a crowd, like uh, again, I'm nervous. I'm worried about how I come off, uh, and worried about kind of you know, how people kind of see what I'm doing. So to be able to say, okay, I know exactly like the things I need to do to make sure I'm connecting with this audience. Uh, I need you to come and show me, uh, show me what's up. You know, show me what. Maybe I need to become a 3D e student because uh, you guys seem like you're you're, you're coming along. Uh, you got, you got one good. spot available. You got your name on. You know what? Sign me up. You know, sign me up. I'll come, come on back and and, uh, and 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 restart my high school experience. That I think that'd be cool. Uh, even even though you know I, I, you guys might notice a little bit, that I'm a little bit older uh, than the rest of the students. But I think I still I tell my kids I still think I look you know like I'm about 21, 22. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I still I still can pass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, 17, you say 17, okay. I like it. You know what? You know what? Thank you. All right? Th thank you very, very much. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, I'm, glad, you tell I'm, glad my kids. I'm, I'm glad that Veronica mentioned that as well. The fact that their confidence has, has built, uh, not in a uh, way that it was forced. It was very organic. Um, it was structured. There were opportunities. And for them to have conversation with adults from all different parts of, of any company, right? There's so many different departments, accounting, uh, human resource, et cetera. And they were able to have these conversations and understand what's the what, what are the needs that these companies have and how do we get that point across? How do we how do we pitch? And so that's one of those things that they also develop, uh, other than just the competencies, they they have the way to be verbal, nonverbal cues that she had just mentioned. And I thought it was just uh, spot on in what they're uh, what they're they're speaking of. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, so JC, so just tell me from your experience with this, with this, with the, with this model, um, what, you know, what impact have you seen that the three D E program has had on your students? If you were to take yourself back to ninth grade or high school, and you were able to say to yourself, I didn't have anyone to tell me what the real world was going to ask for from me how can how can i have someone tell me a coach a mentor somebody that would say be ready for this these are the things that you need to build on just in general either it's a, a career of your choice right or or, or you know uh you you want to build your own business you want to go post-secondary you want to go to college whatever it is um what would help me? and so what i've seen Students are three to four steps beyond their peers that are not in 3D either. That speaks into organizational skills, uh, using uh, critical and analytical thinking that, that's necessary as, as, as grown-ups, right? I mean, I, I'm old too, man, and I wish I had these skills beforehand. Then, then Absolutely. Have, yeah, then my relationship, my personal relationship would probably be even better, right? So yeah. the whole idea is these skills, you can see it from day one 
till now. I've been with them for two years now, and they still blow me away when they present. Yesterday, their PowerPoint, the animations were, were, were flawless. I mean, even the, 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 the uh, business partners that were there from a different company, they, they were just like, how did, they, how did they get this done? Where did they learn this? And the idea is that it, we allow that to happen within their school day. It's not an after school, not a before school, it's not a weekend thing. And that's why I think what we see is their confidence that's being built, their ideas are sharp, their way of presenting their pitch is, is spot on without having to drag it uh, longer than when it's necessary. Understanding those little things, I mean, those nuances, and so on and so forth. From day one to now, night and day. Wow. Uh, and again, like you said, I, I wish uh, when I was in high school, again, I had somebody to kind of teach me and guide me. Because, again, uh, coming out of high school for us, it's like you have no clue what you want to do, what you should be doing, what career you even, what careers exist, what career path. You kind of just kind of go how the world takes you. Uh, so, again, I, I wish I had a program like this when I was a kid, even though coming out, you know, I was I was going to college to play college football and I was lucky to have that structure in place of college football to kind of be a support system for me. But everybody's not going to get to play college football. And to have a program like this that can give you structure and guidance and kind of give you an idea of what you want to do, what what's possible, like what's actually possible uh, for you as a young person, uh, and give you that guidance again, that is amazing. So that leads me to this question. So for Ver uh, Veronica, I'll start with you. Uh, so how do you think the 3DE program has helped you kind of prepare for life uh, after high school? I think the 3DE program has really helped me prepare by kind of opening my eyes as to what is available to me and what resources I can use in my day to day life. Like uh, for freshman year, we had a case study at the end of the year which really had us thinking about what investments we wanted to make for the future, how much would it cost, and how much we need to save to get to that point. Um, and I think that's really made me think about it a lot, as I've been making a lot of steps to ensuring that I am able to make it to college and have a plan set out in case it doesn't work out for me. Sure. Uh, again, that, that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so, uh, um, Savannah, how do you think uh, it, 3Ds helped you prepare for life after high school? Um, I think it's given me a lot of communication skills, um, a lot of uh, leadership skills as well. Um, I definitely feel when I'm in, envir in an environment and there's an issue or a problem, I have that skill to just get up and take charge and like fix the problem or take those steps from whatever case challenges we have had, we've been able to take those skills and the competencies and work them in on how we solve those problems in your life. And I think it's also helped us to figure out what further steps do we need to take when we're in college or at our job, and it's going to help us a lot more when we're in those environments. That's great. Well, again, thank you guys so much for joining us here uh, on, on this episode. Again, we learned a lot about the 3DE model uh, and how it's impacting our, our students. Uh, again, JDC, uh, Savannah, Veronica, again, getting a chance to listen to uh, what you guys, uh, your guys' experience with the 3DE program, hearing from students, how impactful it's been on their life and their experience and how they view, how they view their future. Again, that is amazing. So, again, thank you guys for joining us here on J8 today. Keep working hard. Keep learning. And save me a seat in class, all right? I'll come through and, and, and pick up a seat. Come see, can I, see, can I learn a little something? Anytime. All right. Thank you, guys.